In this video, we're going to pick up blocks and throw them. Uh, in a previous video, we picked them up, right? So I can pick up this block and drop it. But the problem is, is if I pick it up and you kind of throw it to the right, you'd expect it to fly to the right, you know? But instead, it's just straight up drops. What we're going to need to do is calculate a velocity based on where we were compared to where we just went. So if just a, a split second ago, I was here, and then just after that I was here and I let go, that's going to give us our direction. So let's say we're holding onto this black cube, and I have a fast computer, so when I flick my mouse to the right and then let go one frame later, so if I get like uh, 60 frames a second, so just one sixtieth of a second later, we're here, and I calculate that velocity, we're going to get this arrow, which is that long. But if I have a slow computer that's getting maybe 30 frames a second, and I flick my uh, mouse to the right, one frame later I might have gotten this far. And so, so when I calculate starting of this frame and then going over here, we'll get this arrow, and it's longer. So if we have a time dot delta time, that's twice as big. So if it's been twice as long since we last checked, then we need to divide by two. So that if you move your mouse the same amount, it won't matter if you have a fast computer or a slow computer, you're going to throw it the same. So in that previous video, we made a grab and drop script, so open that up. And we made that with an older version of Unity, so there's a bounds here. You now need to do get component, whoops, uh, renderer here, get component renderer instead. And now this script is still going to work, but we need to add that force calculation when we drop an object. So now we need to keep track of the previous grab position. So this is going to be the position of the cube, the last frame, the frame before the one we're on now. And when I'm down on update, we're going to keep track of this. So if we have a grabbed object, before we, change, before we update the grabbed object position, we're actually just going to save it here. In previous grab position is going to be our grabbed object position. So now what's going to happen is an, on update, we're going to save the last one, update the position, and then we're going to get a new frame and we're going to come up here and possibly drop this object. And if we do that, previous grab position is going to be different than the position of the grabbed object. So if black is our previous position, um, maybe we move just a little bit this way or just a little bit this way, or maybe we moved a lot. So here, instead of setting the velocity to zero, we've got to set it to some new velocity and calculate it. So when there's a rigid body and we're dropping that object, in fact, I'm going to be talking about this rigid body a lot now, so I'm just going to make a shortcut for it. Rigid body RB is that. First thing I want to do is get this vector, so just the throw vector. Doesn't matter how long it is or whatever, but we need to get it. I'm going to call this the throw vector. And this is going to be our grabbed objects position minus the previous grab position. The speed is going to be, well, it's our throw vector, the magnitude of it, so the length of this arrow. Except, like I said, we need to adjust based on that time. So we're going to divide it by time delta time. So if time, if it's been a long time since our last frame, we have a slow computer, and we need to divide by a big number to reduce this magnitude, because otherwise it's going to be unfair. A slow computer is going to throw the cube really fast. Now our throw velocity this is going to be the adjusted length. It's going to be our speed times our throw vector -y. Oh, I'll fix that. vector -y. I'm going to click here, press F2. It's different on different systems, but you can just rename them all. 
There you go. So speed times the unit vector of throw vector. So this is a per this purple vector is throw vector. I'm going to make it a unit vector. So the length is one and multiply it by speed, whatever speed is supposed to be. So now instead of vector zero, we just do throw velocity and we'll save it and we'll see where we are. It's not going to be quite right. It's getting there though. So if I pick up this cube and I just drop it, it actually flung down fast. I do it again. It didn't fling down. And I hold it up for a while and let go and it's fast and I do it quickly. It doesn't go fast. It took me a while to figure this out, but this is the rigid body system as being a little funny. We're going to have to turn off gravity. We're going to get its rigid body and we're going to say use gravity is off. And then over here, we're going to say use gravity is back on when we drop it. And this is going to behave a lot better. So I grab this, let go. All right, it's not flying around crazily. And if we grab something and I flick to the left, it flies away. So there you go. That's how you throw objects. And I, in the next video, I'm going to make a push so you can also push like a Jedi. Bam! It's going to work forward a little bit, but not quite as well because I can't run very fast.